Welcome everybody to this week's aerobic training set. I'm Jonathan from the Cambridge Swimming Company and this week's focus is the outdoor swimming skill of sighting. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise. As always, we are starting with our developing squad and straight into our dry land warm up. So make sure everything's stretched off on land. Make sure your muscles are warmed up, every joint stretched off, particularly your shoulders, and jump in the pool. And just to get you into the swimming, I want 100 of easy choice strokes, something other than freestyle, please, and then 100 easy freestyle, or 100 freestyle, just upping that intensity slightly to 70%. So into our drills this week, and our drills are sighting, fingertip drag, and then just swimming freestyle. Um, but we're gonna talk about the sighting specifically. Sighting is the way we uh, sight where we're swimming, so that when we're not in a pool, and there's no lane, um, side stall pool, or lane ropes, or a line on the bottom of the pool, we have to look to see where we're going. And how we do that is, you're swimming along, and you're swimming freestyle, you take your breath, take another stroke, and then in the gap where you would breathe again, just look up enough that you can see in front of you and then you carry on swimming. So you're just enough, so you just they call it crocodile eyes, so your eyes are just getting up enough to see the water. So if it's slightly rougher, you need to look up further, maybe raise your body, but if it's flat calm, you can just get your eyes out. And what you're looking for is anything in the distance that uh, is in the way you want to travel, but look for the biggest thing as far away and that will make you swim straighter. If you look at something small and close, uh, you might not see it and you'll find that you, you zigzag a bit more. But if you're going for something as far away as you can, you swim towards that and then when you get uh, to a landmark that's the distance you want to go, you can turn. So that, that's the, the idea behind sighting. But for the pool and for this practice, uh, keep it simple. Just look up and look for something on the back of the pool you're swimming on. So we're doing 100 of sighting, 100 of fingertip drag, fingertip drag we've done before, we're dragging our fingertips along the surface of the water uh, for the recovery. Avoid crossing over uh, and keep everything relaxed. And then 100 of freestyle. Then we're gonna go into our main set. So we're gonna do 100 of freestyle, 100 of sighting, 200 freestyle, 100 of sighting, and then finishing off with 200 of freestyle. And all of this is at 80%. So we've upped that intensity a little bit more. Um, and then normally that's where we would finish the set. But this week I wanna add in some speed in this session, just uh, uh, two things really. Mixes it up a little bit, uh, gets the heart re and the body really um, working hard <clears throat> for the end of this session. And it gives those of you that are just doing um, the one session a week some speed work to do and a taste of what we do in the speed session. So we're finishing off with some speed variations. So these are where we're swimming 25s. These are the simple ones. So we're doing half a length of easy swimming. So 70% easy swimming. And then as fast as you can go till the end. I'm gonna do four of those 25. So easy sprint, take a break, easy sprint, take a break, easy sprint, take a break, easy sprint. So we're four 25s of that. And then we're gonna do four 25s all out sprinting. So just sprint 25, catch your breath at the other end, take a nice long break, sprint, take a break, sprint. So we're gonna do four of those. And then we're gonna go into 100 of easy choice and 100 easy freestyle, just to really kind of calm down, get the heart rate back down and flush your system out ready to go uh, for next week's session. So that's uh, 1,900 in total. Do your normal cool down that you would. Uh, so have stretch off, relax in the pool, swim a little bit more if you need to, and get ready to go for the technique session. I look forward to seeing as many of you there as I can. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions, uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel, which is patreon.com forward slash camp swim club. I would love to see you all there. Welcome to the Experience Squad's aerobic session. And as always, dry land warm up, make sure you're stretched off, warmed up, shoulders are ready to go before you jump in. And then I want an easy choice 100 and then a freestyle 200, just at 70%. So slightly more than your easy swimming, um, just to get yourself ready to go. Then we're gonna go into our drills. And uh, this week, as we said, focus is sighting. So we're going to uh, swim freestyle. Sighting is the freestyle skill that we use to determine if we're swimming in a straight line when we're in the open water and there's no lane ropes, no side of the pool, no line down the bottom of the, the water for us to follow. So how we swim sighting is we're swimming freestyle, 
Take a breath, take another stroke, and then where you would take this breath, you just look up enough to see where you're aiming for, and then you carry on swimming. So that's your sighting. Um, and just while you're, we're talking about sighting, what you're looking for is something, the biggest thing as far away in the direction that you want to go. That's what you sight off. Don't look for something that can move um, and don't look for something too small, too close, because that will mean you, you swim uh, in a zigzag. So you want to go in a straight line, the biggest thing furthest away. But we'll talk more about that in different sessions. But now just practice the mechanics of looking up in your stroke. Then 100 of fingertip drag. So keeping your hands nice and relaxed and you're dragging your fingertips along the top of the water for your recovery, and then a 200 of freestyle. So that's all at 70%, and we're doing those drills twice. Then into our main set, where we're doing uh, some freestyle swimming and sighting, all at 80%. So we're upping that intensity a little bit more, just to challenge the skill. So 200 freestyle, 100 sighting, 200 freestyle, 100 sighting, finishing off this bit with a 200 of freestyle. So that's the aerobic section. And normally that would be the end, but we're adding in some speed and work this week. So the people that just do this session every week get to experience what the speed work does for you and everyone else, it's some extra speed work. So just to add some training load this week, you will feel it, but it will be good for you in the end. So starting off with some speed focus work. So sometimes we really focus in, so down to like three strokes of speed work. This one's slightly more. So we're gonna do the first 8.25s of the speed variations. We're gonna do half a length easy swimming, and then sprint to the end of the lane. Take a break, half a length, sprint. So we're gonna do eight of those, and then we're gonna do 4.25s, just sprint. So a 25 max effort, take a break, 25 max effort, take a break. But it's important that you keep your, your stroke relaxed apart from where you're really putting the effort into the pull, the catch. Um, so keeping your arms turning over quickly, but in a relaxed way. We talk more about that in detail in the speed sessions. Um, but technique is vitally important. So you maintain your technique, even at these kind of high stress levels. So that's 425 of that. And then a choice 100 and a choice, an easy freestyle 100 to flush out the system, get your heart rate back down, cool down and ready to go for uh, next week. So that's 2,400 in total. Do your cool down that you always do. So float around, relax in the pool a bit more. Maybe do a little bit more swimming um, if you want to and then you're ready to go for the technique session. I look forward to seeing as many of you there as we can. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions, uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel, which is patreon.com forward slash Cam Swim Club. I would love to see you all there. Welcome to this week's Advanced Groups Aerobic Training Session. And as always, try land warm up. Make sure your muscles are ready to go. Your joints are all stretched off before you jump in. And then I want an easy freestyle 100 Easy choice 100 and then 200 at 70%. So just up that intensity a little bit more. All of that's continuous swimming. Then we're going to do some drills. And the focus this week I said was sighting. So we're starting off with sighting. Uh, for those of you who haven't done it before, it's an open water swimming skill. So when there's no, th no lane, sides, ropes, or lines to follow, we need a way of swimming straight. So we pick something in the distance, um, in the direction we want to go, the biggest thing as far away as it can be and that gives you the best chance of swimming straight. If you pick something too close, um, you can zigzag a bit. And if you pick something that moves, obviously you can't use that. So don't pick boats, don't pick um, cars. Hot air balloons have caught people out before. Um, so pick something and that's what you're sighting off. And the skill that you're doing is you're swimming along, you take your breath, and where you would take the breath, the next breath, you just look up and you carry on. Look up and you're just getting your eyes above the water line, just enough, they call it crocodile eyes, so that you can see what you're looking for and then carry on swimming. Sometimes you might have to really look up if it's a bit choppier in the open water, but in the pool for this, we're just practicing the skill so you keep it simple. So 100 of that drill, so 100 of sighting, uh, 100 fingertip drag, so we've done this before, but keep your, your hand relaxed, keep your, every, your stroke relaxed, drag your fingertips along the top of the water during the recovery and then take the normal stroke and then 200 of freestyle. And we're doing all of those drills twice. Then into our main aerobic set where we're alternating between freestyle, normal freestyle and sighting. So we're gonna do uh, 300 freestyle, 100 sighting, 300 freestyle, 100 sighting, the 300 freestyle, all at 80%. So that practicing that sighting skill and working on our aerobic base at the same time. So slightly more effort again. And then normally that's where we'd finish. 
but this week we're adding some speed work in, uh, some extra speed work for the people who do all three sessions, and for those that just do the one session, this is your chance to experience what we do in those speed sessions and feel the benefit of that. So starting off with the speed variation. We do eight 25s of half a length easy swimming, so 70% to the halfway point of the lane, and then sprint to the end. Take a break. Uh, easy for half a lane, sprint to the end. And keep doing that till you've done eight 25s. So then we do four sprints max, so uh, for 50. So this is quite a bit longer than the other groups. Um, just all out, keep the technique, keep um, everything in your stroke as relaxed as you can, apart from the full on swimming. But so four max efforts, 50. So you'll really feel at the end. So then you're going into a choice 100 and an easy freestyle 200 just to get your heart rate back down, flush out your system. Uh, that's 3,000 in total. Then do your normal cool down, so float around a bit, um, stretch off a bit, and maybe do a little bit more swimming so you're ready to go for the other sessions coming into the week. And I look forward to seeing as many of you there as we can. Uh, if you want to get involved in our technical and speed sessions, uh, they'll be coming up later in the week on our Patreon channel, which is patreon.com forward slash Cam Swim Club. I would love to see you all there. I'm sure that the water won't mind if we rest here for the night and leave before sunrise.